Hey guys, it's Mike Hall, 3Max, and today we're gonna go through the fourplex that I've been remodeling for the last four months. Three of the four units are occupied, and the fourth just got finished, so you guys get to see the quality of work that we did and how we transformed this property. And then most importantly, we're gonna get into the numbers, and I'm gonna show you that we hit everything along the way, even though the offer I wrote on this was sight unseen with 25,000 non-refundable earnest money. So the first thing you're gonna notice when you look at this property is that I've upgraded the, the way that the building just absolutely looks. And you get two birds with one stone with that. One, you make it look really pretty. People like to live in pretty places, right? Two, the city, which is when you're, when you're buying a lot of houses in the city, they like when you make pretty houses and you're gonna have a lot better favorable conversations in the future about that. I guess there's a third stone here. When you paint, especially stucco, you get an opportunity to completely wrap the whole building. You get your painters up, front and close into that stucco and we're filling all the gaps and just sealing in the stucco and making it really, really watertight so that it's gonna stand the test of time. So what was interesting about this one that I wasn't necessarily expecting when I bought it, before we walk in, like, comment, subscribe. Do it right now, it's super easy. Just click it, share it. All right, let's go. We had two tenants in here that had been here for a very, very long time. And I always give the tenants the opportunity to um, come up to market rent and stay, but both of them decided to leave. I thought I was gonna be remodeling this over the next year or two as people kind of left. Um, but I got the opportunity that all of a sudden three of the units were just vacant and I got to get into them and completely redo them, which is dynamite because when you redo your units, you get that value add up, which means that the, the building is worth a lot more money and then we can do a nice cash out refinances, which is what we're working on right now. And I can pull a lot of that cash that I've invested into this out and I'm ready to move on to the next project quicker. So you're gonna come through here and it's gonna look like I spent a lot of money on these units. But you guys, it really doesn't take a lot. Even with the quartz tops, brand new sink, we've got the all new brushed gold features which look really great, brand new cabinets, flooring's all new, lighting's all new, painting's all new, but it's not that much because all of those little things, you get an opportunity to really freshen the property up. So this property here completely remodeled like this, I'm not into it for any more than $15,000. A couple of the hiccups that we ran into when we were doing this is that we had a wall window AC unit over here that was mounted to the wall that didn't work. So I ended up spending 4,000 bucks on a new mini split. But to be honest with you guys, like that's a high quality AC system for this. It's gonna make it comfortable and it's gonna keep it dry in here. Tenants are gonna love it and the property is gonna be in better condition. New vanities in the bathrooms. This looks expensive, it looks annoying. You can just get these for six, 700 bucks from Menards or Home Depot and just put them right in, easy peasy. This tub actually, and I've got photos of that, check this out. So we had to redo the tub to make that look good. So that was a little bit of unexpected. But other than that, this was pretty easy peasy. So the way that we ended up stabilizing this building is that it used to be one three bedroom unit and then it was wrapped and kind of surrounded with three other one bedroom units. What we did is we took the three bedroom and we pulled one of the bedrooms out and added that into another one of the one bedrooms. So now the building is two two bedrooms and two one bedroom units um, that allowed us to spread our rents over and get an average rent per unit way up and so that's pushed our performance up a lot from the rental perspective um, and just having people that can actually stay here for a longer period of time the more bedrooms you have the longer the tenants can stay and when you're looking at long-term rentals the longer people stay the easier it is and the, the less turn money you have to spend so let's look into the numbers here and what actually this how it actually shook out so i'm actually going to share you guys my my investment analysis this is how i decide how to pull the trigger on properties or not it's not this ambiguous maybe i should maybe i shouldn't it's i type the numbers into the spreadsheet my estimates and all those types of things and if the numbers come out favorably we write an offer which is why i was able to write that site unseen non-refundable earnest money offer because i built in tons of room for error into this spreadsheet and it was not negotiable okay before i get into the numbers you guys you got to like subscribe comment you got to do all the things that make it more fun for me to do this, which means you're actually engaging in it. All right, so we're gonna do two here, and this is where the this is where the rubber meets the road, you guys. Okay, whenever I say I'm throwing into a spreadsheet, this is what it is. A lot simpler than you think it than you think it would be, isn't it? It's pretty easy. There's not very many inputs. You just put the stuff in. So we're gonna do the buy, and then we're gonna change it to what it was like when we did the refinance. So I purchased it for four hundred sixty thousand. Um, I ended up spending about $77,000 on the update. So you put that in there, 25% down payment. This gives you the total capital or cash that you put into it. So that's where the numbers are gonna be running off of when you look at the cash flow, cash on cash, whatever. My interest rate on the purchase was 4.5, which is awesome. That's going gonzo soon. Um, we ended up getting rents in, in this regard. So we got 1,800 for the big one. We got 1,500 for the basement. We, got, we have 900 upstairs 
and we just rented the last one for $11.95. So it's fully rented. So what that's gonna do is gonna track out and add all of your, your rents to that. Um, now we come down to utilities and the things that I'm adding for, I have, you know, uh, snow removal and lawn mowing, and that runs in the ballpark of about $300 on average. What I've done that I, that's helped this number a lot recently is that I started adding um, tenant paid utilities to my, uh, to my leases, which has really eased the burden of this number. I put vacancy in at about 3%, which is about normal, it's about right. Um, and my cap S ma cap X maintenance, this is your budget for fixes around the property. And I make this a little bit steeper, a little bit top heavier for you know a residential like single family home just because there's roofs and there's all that kind of stuff in there. Um, generally speaking, if you just bought a house, you'd probably put this at 10, but I just spent a lot of money remodeling it. So I've got it down at eight, which is I think is pretty, uh, pretty reasonable, pretty reasonable number. All right, so I'm leaving the utilities blank because I put these up here. Um, I'm not gonna put the line in here, but if you wanted to add a line, you could do that here. Insurance is 3,600, taxes are 4,500. So those inputs are pretty easy. What did I put seven things in here? And then it cranks up my numbers what my cash flow is like. So at my purchase with the cash um, put into the property, it's a 13% cash on cash. So that means that this number right here is making 13% just on cash flow. So that's what that's spinning out just on money coming out. And as long as you crank up these two numbers that your cap X and your vacancy, you can rely on this. Otherwise, if you don't account for enough cap X or your vacancy, you're going to find that this number is primarily made up of ghost cash flow where it never actually shows up because you spend it on cap X and maintenance. So um, that's why you put big numbers there. Now, um, so monthly, you make about 22, 2300 bucks um, per month if I didn't refinance it. But we're gonna mess all this up because we're gonna do refinance. So we just got a crappy appraisal, um, but that's okay. Just is what it is. Um, there's things that I could have done better to help uh, help increase that number that I'll do in the future. Um, but we're gonna pull out about that 77,000 number. So we get rid of this cost to make rent ready and we're gonna leave about 130,000 in there, which is way more than I wanted to, but it's the way it is. Sorry, 105 into it. Uh, rents are all the same, interest rate, we're cranking that up, but that doesn't really matter because we're just trying to get our money back. Okay, all right, everything else is the same. And you can see that we're gonna get about 75 to 77,000 cash back. But this property, after being stabilized and this amount of money left into the property, it's gonna be actually improving our cash on cash because we're getting this back and we're leaving this money. So we're making a 15% cash on cash return on that. And how freaking awesome is that, you guys? Um, I know the appraisal came in at 525, but if I put this on the market today, it's easily six. So the rest of these numbers are just kind of fun to track if, appre if appreciation was 3%. Uh, so there you have it, you guys. That's how simple this stuff can be when you put it into a spreadsheet. If you want this, you can email me or text me and I'd be happy to send you the spreadsheet so you can underwrite your own deals. And that's it. So you can see how you know investing in a rental business can be so ambiguous. Like when we started this thing, you saw what the property looked like. And we're talking about non-refundable sight unseen offers and we're going, that's super, super scary. But as long as you're running your numbers and you know what you're doing, look at the benefit that you can see yourself in having just done it. The coolest part about this is this is so much fun. The before and the after and four months is pretty quick turnaround and look at the transformation uh, and if you do this right and you have the right partners your life mo mo you know your life moseys on anyways i stopped by this maybe once a week just to meet people see how things are coming but look at the fruit of that and what a cool asset to the city and everybody around it that's it you guys please like subscribe comment share this thing these are a lot of fun and i'll keep doing it but i'm going to do it even more if you show it to more people